So last time I was, you were on, we were talking about wide receivers. I, I've been thinking more about what the Niners are looking for, and I feel like they're looking for a slot guy. I mean, I know they need to replace Kendrick Bourne, but Brandon Ayuk can do a lot of the stuff Kendrick Bourne does. I mean, he kind of took his role in the red zone last year. He's got the long arms. He can be a possession receiver, even though he's much more. It seems like the Niners definitely do need a slot guy, though. They, they have Jalen Hurd. They have Sanu, Jennings, a bunch of guys who could do it, but no one that's locked it up. Um, who would you say are the best slot receivers in this draft or guys at different spots in the draft that you think are intriguing? I'd say the most intriguing and a guy that I think would definitely fit with the 49ers um, with what we've kind of seen over the last couple of years from their slot position. I don't know if he'll be there second round, but um, Terrace Marshall out, oh. of, out of LSU okay. because right. he, he gives you everything. He gives you the total package. In yeah. 2019, when LSU had Jefferson and Jamar Chase, Terrace Marshall was just an outside guy. And even then, with all those guys being extremely productive, he got 13 pa uh, touchdown passes. Oh, wow. And he's a, he's a terrific contested catch guy. He's good down the field. He's 6'3", about 200 pounds. He's a, like a longer, linear guy. Um, and he, he put up terrific numbers with them. Now, without them, he's like, okay, well, what is Terrace Marshall going to do now? Doesn't have as good of a quarterback situation, right? Joe Burrow is not throwing all those passes to you. Mm -hmm. You don't got Jamar Chase and uh, Justin Jefferson uh, with you. What are you going to do now? And he had like 10 touchdown catches in seven games. Um, they did a really good job of really putting on full display of what he's good at. He lined up inside. He lined up outside. They used him as a possession guy. They used him to get open quick right now in the slot. They used him vertically from the slot where he just outran defenses and showed off that 4-3-A speed he ran at his pro day. Um, he's a terrific contested catch guy. He's, he's, an, he's an everything type receiver. And I think what I've seen with the 49ers – and, you know, obviously, like, yeah, Trent Taylor, who was kind of the – he's just a slot, but everybody else has had more of the ability to play outside, play inside, tight splits. And I think uh, Terrace Marshall would give the 49ers that slot element, kind of like Muhammad Sanu, but also the vertical threat mm -hmm. as well and the ability to play on the outside. So now all of my guys, I can utilize them and move them around and not have to pigeonhole a guy in one space. And the one thing you said also, a contested catch guy. Uh, that was Kendrick Bourne. We've been talking about this for years. It's not George yeah. Kittle. It's not Debo Samuel. I, you can do it, um, but that was Kendrick Bourne's job on the team, and now he's gone, and they're going to need to replace that. Uh, Ross Dwelly can do it, but they don't throw him that many passes, and he's not a wide receiver. So ideally, it would be someone who could have that skill set. Terrace Marshall has it. He's 6'3". He's big, uh, kind of like Jawan Jennings, except good. Sorry, Jawan. Yeah, good, fast, explosive. Uh, all yeah. of that. <laughs> Great separation, all of that. When we're routes, he can do it all. You think, I think he's kind of, I don't want to say he's underrated, but um, I do think, like, you know, people just view this class overall as a deep class. And I think he's in the mix of a guy that can go first round. Wouldn't right. be surprised if, you know, maybe he's there in the 30s and the 49ers, if they really like him and identify him as a guy that can help them, which I think he clearly can, and be a pure receiver that, like, Debo's kind of not that. Um, okay. I, I could see maybe them potentially trading up for a guy like him.